so these are the math slides for Monday for Turing Group. So what you're going to be doing today is going through your arithmetic recap. So pause the video, give the questions a go, and I'll go through the answers with you in a moment. Okay, welcome back. Let's see how you got on. So, first question, 458 add 4. Now, you probably can do this in your head, but if you wanted to work it out using your column method, 458 add 4. 8 add 4 we know is 12. So 2 can be a 1. 5 add 1 is 6, 4 add nothing is 4, so your answer for that one should have been 462. Okay, 362 take away 10, again you could probably do this in your head, but using column methods, which you can always do, 2 take away nothing is 2, 6 take away 1 is 5, 3 take away nothing is 3. So your answer should be 352. Okay, basic times table fact, 4 times by 7 is 28. Three hundred and fifty-six add 40. Again, we can either use our mental methods, thinking about changing the tens column, or we can use our column method. So again, 6 add 0 is 6, 5 add 4 is 9, 3 add nothing is 3. So your answer should be 396. Okay, 3,765, 65, add 1,000. Again, you could probably do this in your head, but using the column method. add nothing is 5, 6 add nothing is 6, 7 add 0 is 7, 3 add 1 is 4, so your answer should have been 4,765. Okay, this one you definitely need to use your column method for. 35,958 add 12,034. Not a very straight line, but hopefully yours is neater. 8 add 4 is 12, so 2 carry over your 1. 5 add 3 is 8, but don't forget to add the 1 at the bottom, which is 9. 9 add 0 is 9. 5 add 2 is 7. 3 add 1 is 4. So your answer would be 47,992. Okay. 271 take away 8. Again, you could probably do this counting backwards, but just in case you did the column method. 1 take away 8 you can't do, so we go next door, cross it out, place it with a 6, carry over your 1, so now it's 11 take away 8, which is 3. 6 take away nothing is 6, 2 take away nothing is 2. Your answer should be 263. Okay, 387 add 236. Lots of column recaps today. Let's check I'm writing out the right calculation. So, 7 add 6 is 13. 3. It's not. I should have used my number bonds better. I'm doubting myself. So 7 add 6 is 13. 8 add 3 is 11. Add the 1 that's been carried over is 12. 3 add 2 is 5. Add the 1 that's been carried over is 5. So your answer should have been 500. I've forgotten to add the 1. This question seems to be the one that I can't get right. So rub that out. I've done that classic mistake of forgetting to add my carried over number. Five add two is five. Sorry, three add two is five. Add the one is six. So your answer should have been six hundred twenty-three. 
Always check for those carried over ones, otherwise you make a mistake like I did.